guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode two of Sasaki to Miano. So let's go ahead and get started. And three, two, one, go. Alright, let's see what happened with my boys today. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh. Of course they do. Come on now. No. So it's a date, right? <laughs> no, why? <laughs> He says love is everything. <laughs> Who wouldn't fall for him? I'm sorry, like, oh my... I just have like feelings that this show is gonna make me cry and everything. I mean, uh, like God, I don't want to cry today. I mean, I still got a whole bunch. I got three other shows to watch after this, and oh. Uh. It just makes me wonder, out of the two, is gonna confess first, like, oh, it's gonna be so good. Oh, God, my heart, I can't. Having him. <laughs> oh, that's like the same thing of like how can you read fan fiction like really good smutty fanfic without being turned on <laughs> oh Mm-hmm. 
Oh, okay. Oh my god, I haven't seen one of those in forever. Jesus! <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just flirting like they always do. Of course. Maybe. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, but when it's just you two, he can, in a way, actually be himself. And same with you. <laughs> well, you know, you know, and I had liquor in it. <laughs> yeah. Possibly. I mean, you just have to ask him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it was a co ed school.
Mm. Yeah, that's a good question. Oh. Ah, that's how it always starts. <laughs> oh, of course he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, because you don't want anybody to know, right? Oh. <laughs> Are you guys going to share a box? Oh my god!
still gonna give me a heart attack. Oh my god. Oh, uh, that once again they're just so fucking cute, and I'm just gonna die. <laughs> talk about like the pocky scene for a moment like oh uh mm, uh, (laughs) just like right when me i know it took like that first bite and you could just tell like sasaki was just like feeling it so he was definitely getting turned on and like last week you know how as I said you know when you like that like mm, like the nice little smutty moment and then at the same time you just like the little cute subtle moments where it's like it, it's a little like turn off it I mean not turn off it's turn on ish and stuff for them and it's just like you're over here and you're watching and it's just so fucking wholesome but for them it's just like ah! Like, it's not hot and heavy or anything. I, and and that's what I truly love about this. Because it's just so sweet and subtle. And it's just like a couple days later, you can always think about it. You would fucking end right there. Oh! <laughs> this damn show. Like, oh my god. I can't. <sighs> Just, oh my god. This, this is how I feel when I read, like, really good fanfics. And then you just, you know, we're gonna end it abruptly this week. And then you're just like, I need more. <laughs> <laughs> this is too much and it's only episode fucking two once again but what I like I said what I love about this show is that like the cute little moments slash turn on moments are very subtle like it's there versus something where it's like where we're only going to show like the hot and heavy scenes between these two we're going to give them a lot of wholesome moments at times but overall a certain show aka I've been threatened by the most handsomest man citrus um and a whole bunch of others that have been very similar into that aspect and how they do it. They're like, here's some wholesome, but we're going to do a whole bunch of hot and heavy and such. Because, of course, uh, that's what a lot of people think ish. Because, of course, once again, at the end of the day, sex sells. And they're like, hey, we're going to do it like this. But I, I really thought Suzaki was going to confess to me and know today. I, I was ready for it. I was honestly dead ass ready. Like, at the point where they're at the train together, he got the chocolates. I'm thinking he was either going to be like, you know, give him the chocolates and be like, hey, I like you. Or I thought he was going to kiss him and such. But it, it's like, 
at the same time I have to look at this show and their relationship or really their friendship eventually turning into a relationship it's very going to be so I cannot speak slow pace with these two so even though I want to see them kiss it, it, it'll be a little weird for me if by episode two if they kissed it's very similar to how I felt with Hori Mia and such and how one of my other friends who also reacted to Hori Mia they were very skeptical at the point where it's like okay you know Episode one, they're hanging out. Episode two, they're hanging out. And then by episode five or six, they were already dating and such. And we didn't know how long it had been since, you know, Hori Mia had been friends and such. And so it was a little weird for him and a little bit of weird for the, for some of us watching that show. Like, damn, y'all already freaking dating and everything. I mean, it was obvious that y'all were technically dating, but y'all were just like two friends. And like, yeah, we can be friends without being in a relationship and such. And then, you know, they did other things. And this is that in therapy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm like, I'm over here now, like, yes, like, I want that kiss, but at the same time, I'm like, no, take your time. Like, you know, when we get to that kiss, it's going to be wholesome, it's going to be great, I'm going to cry, fangirl and everything, because of course it's going to be wholesome as fuck, and I'm just, I'm, I'm ready for it, I want it now, but of course I have to be patient and fucking wait. But this just also reminds me, and I, and I learned about this fairly recently, so, one of my favorite, um, group of manga it's Clamp, okay, um, they did stuff for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and you can kind of tell, especially when you look at the, there's two characters who I initially think gave me, like, the Kakoween and, you know, I'm about to say the wrong person's name, Jotaro, there we go, there we go, feels, it, it is Sakura's brother, and then Yukito, like, straight up the first time, and I was like, I was thinking about this one random day, and I was like, yeah, that could have been an Easter egg to it as well, like, I mean, they, they had a lot of things, and especially with Miano saying, like, oh, hey, I saw a character who was very familiar to me, and that's how it always starts with all of us, you know what, I'm reading a BL or a Girls Love or something, or hell, reading some damn good-ass smut where it's like, this character, X reader, yes, like, straight up. Like, oh my god, you don't even know. Because I was supposed to read one last night with, like, I think it was, like, Levi or some shit, but I forgot to read it. Oh my god. No! No, 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 no. It wasn't Levi. It was a just, yeah, it was a just a guy's a character. And I forgot. <laughs> well, I can read it later. But yes, like, this episode was so good. Very wholesome and sweet and adorable. Too many feels. Like, oh my god, I can't even wait. I cannot fucking wait until next week. I need next week to come, like, A as A motherfucking P. But other than that, guys, that is very active. You heard episode two of Suzaki to me. I know if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode three. Bye, guys.